Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and this is just going to be a bit of a fun one, really. Um, I posted a picture of this on Instagram last week, and this was just a little toy that I made for my kids who are both uh, uh, 20 months old, they're twins. And uh, yeah, they're both sick right now, they're extremely grumpy, and they were as pissed off as I was that day. I want to do a bit of paracord, so I made this little thing for them. It occupied them for maybe 30 seconds, and they went straight back to screaming, but... That wasn't really the point. I enjoyed doing it and it kind of relaxed me for a little bit. And uh, so I posted it up on Instagram and uh, I got a few likes on that. And uh, I got a comment from N2 Adventure, this dude right here. And notice the lack of the E when you type this in and go and follow him, as you probably should do. So go, go check him out and give him a follow if you're on Instagram. And uh, he said, Can you do a video on how to make this? So here we are. I'm going to try and make this. Um, it's a bit of a tricky one. Um, this is rum, so I don't completely remember how I made this. We've got some paracord here, we've got a knife, and we've got a lighter, and we're going to try and recreate this. But, you know, it may work, it may not, we'll see. Um, it's a pretty simple little thing. I think we can probably do this. And it's going to utilize a knot, this main bow knot here, that I have already recorded a tutorial on how to do, but it hasn't even been published to my channel yet, so that's super useful for you. Um, we're going to have a quick run through that and you can probably um, hang around next week it'll be published and then it'll become clear how to do it because I don't know if these instructions are going to be very clear to be honest but uh, let's put this little guy down here and give it a go so to start with we have what a couple of feet of orange um, so the first thing I'm going to do is this bow part which is a Japanese bow I'm going to put this away before I inadvertently cut myself um, so the first thing I'm going to do is find the midpoint of this piece Okay, and we're just going to loop that over. And I'm going to go left in front of right, if you know what I mean. So the piece coming around from the left is going to be nearest us. I'll try and hold this up here to make it a little easier to see. Um, now, to make the bow, we're going to want to pinch this down, make it a little flatter, like so. See if you can grab that in the fingers there. Okay, uh, this piece that is coming across um, in front, the piece that's coming from the left in front, we're going to take up behind our loop. The piece that's going to the left, currently behind, we're going to bring in front and up in front of the, the loop. And once these get up here, we're going to cross them over. So the piece coming from the right is going to be on top. The piece coming from the left is going to be behind. And let me just see if I can pinch that there so you can see what we're at. Now, believe me, this is not easy to hang on to, so I'm going to try my best here. Um, right, so that's what we've got so far, and now we're going to take this piece, which is behind the, the bottom part of this cross, the piece that's coming from the left, and we're going to bring it over the front of the whole thing, and we're going to bring it down through here. So if I push this up slightly, we create a hole here, and we're going to bring this in front and go down through there. Now as we pull it down through here, make sure that this loop doesn't go behind here, we want to keep it in front. So pull that there, and pinch it. This piece that was the the uh, sorry the top part of the cross that's coming to the left, we're going to take it behind. I'm going to create a similar hole on this side, in this part here, and we're going to come up through there. Again, make sure that this loop stays behind on this side. And if I just pause there, you can probably see already we are starting to form that bow that you can see here. All right, so this is going to be the uh, the body or the thorax of our little insect. And uh, let's just grab these loops here like so, and begin to snug this up. Okay, so you can see with your bow, this top strand of the bow here is completely free moving, so you can always adjust the two wings uh, later on to even everything out. So just make sure everything snugs down for now, that's the main priority. So we'll get that nice and snug. We have our two wings there. Now, on this one here, um, I used this part of the bow here to then uh, create a loop for the head. So what we're going to do before we go any further is just take this piece. Uh, if you can see this particular strand here, the one that comes down through here. I'm just going to try and tease that out a little bit if I can. Now that is connected to this tail here. So it should be fairly easy to push yourself out a little loop. And we're just going to leave a little loop there, probably like that. Okay. Um, now, we're going to come to the part where we make the body here, this part, this section of the body. 
Um, so we're going to just do some snake knots here. So we're going to take our left strand and go over the right strand and round behind. Okay, and we're going to take our right strand and go under that, over the top, and down through the loop we just made. So I'm going to do a couple of these, so don't panic if you didn't really see that. Now you can see I've got a little bit uneven here with my lengths, but we'll, we'll work on sorting that out. And once we get this first knot done, things will be a little bit easier and I can show you a little bit more clearly what we're doing. So we just want to be cinching that down. And you can see that, that loop that I just spent a second making previously has completely disappeared. So that's helpful. Let's uh, see if we can get that back. Just pull that back through. There we go. Okay, so let's see where we're at in comparison to the, the blueprint. Um, it's not looking quite as neat, but you know I wasn't in, in any way intoxicated when I made this. Uh, obviously caring for my children. So yeah, we have our first snake knot there, and here I made one, two, three, four. I don't know if these cords are going to be long enough, we'll probably do three maybe. Um, so let's just go ahead and do a couple more. So we're going to go left strand over right, and then back behind. And then we take a right strand underneath that tail. And when we come up, we're going to go down through this loop that we just made on our first pass. Okay, And start to pull that tight. And if your snake knot's not quite falling into position, they're fairly easy to maneuver. My camera will focus for you. There you go. Fairly easy to maneuver. Just tighten each piece and turn and push it up so that it comes into place. Like so. We're still preserving our little loop here for making our head later on. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do probably one more, maybe two more snake knots. through there. Okay, just make sure these are pulled nice and tight. It'll look like more of a kind of a solid insect type body if you do make sure they're nice and tight. Now we've got just enough cord to do uh, to do a fourth one. Go ahead and do that. Uh, I had no idea what length the cord I started with when I did that. Uh, last version, so we seem to be doing okay here. Now I'm just going to go and grab a pair of pliers. Let's make sure these are pulled nice and tight, particularly the last one because you don't want this coming out. And uh, yeah, if you do make this for, op for your offspring and they do manage to unravel it and choke themselves or strangle each other or whatever. Um, obviously, I accept no liability for any of that, etc., etc. Uh, my kids are pretty, uh, they're, they're fairly uh, hard on toys and things like this, and they haven't managed to deconstruct it, so uh, provided you can pull the knots as tight as I can, then uh, you should be good. So we have two tails. We're, I'm just going to cut these off here. Cut them at a bit of an angle. I think, whoops. There we go. And I think we'll just singe those off just now while we're at it. Just get them bubbling up a little bit with the lighter. We'll do both at once for speed. Okay, wet fingers. And you can do whatever you want with these, just can pinch them flat in this case. Okay, so there we have our main our main body, and luckily we can adjust these wings as I said. Um, yeah, so there you go. So I think with the other one, I took a second piece of cord. I've got one end of the singe, so I'm just going to do the other end. Cut that off there. Quick refreshment break. Um, yeah, this wasn't meant to be a 10 minute video, but it looks like it's going to be more like 15. Okay, quickly singe that off. All right, so on this one, um, I had the cord laid across here, obviously roughly the, the midpoint of the cord. So you can find that. Okay. Uh, then we should have, if I can use the pliers here, we should have a bit of a hole in the center of the, the body here. So sometimes the easiest way to do this is actually take a pair of needle nose pliers and just put them through wherever you want to pull the cord through. 
and in this case we're just gonna grab these two ends Oops. try to do this on camera is a little bit tricky okay and see if we can't can't just pull those through there there we go and we got one of them that's a good start and where's number two gone and number two okay so we pull those up through the center of the body and make sure we're still looped around here pull those tight so as you can see we're we can cinch up our bow again here as you can see we're starting to form this section here and then all I did with this was take the two ends and go down through this loop here just going to slacken that off again a little bit it's a little bit easier to get them through hopefully okay so we've got a little bit of a loop at the top there so even pull them through we might need the help of the pliers to get them through here as well oh, there's one coming through okay so we've gone down through there and now no this could be our first mistake I think I didn't take it through there let's grab that back back through pull that back up through there I think I must have actually taken it down through this one here so this left piece we're just gonna widen this loop out a little bit and take our right, our right uh, working end of the grey cord down through there left end so we can get that to go down through there I'm going to put the pliers through from behind grab our end Oops. Okay, so once we pull that tight, we should be able to see. Yeah, that's looking a bit more like it. So we went round the the body first of all, came up through the middle. You can see on this side. Let's start to cinch this bow up again. Up through the middle, and then down through this left loop that comes over here. And then I think all I did was just another snake knot on here so we can turn this around to make it a little bit easier so go left over right and round behind take your right strand underneath that one up and then down through that loop we just created and again as you cinch it up just push it up into place where the head would be okay we ended up with a slightly different pattern than I had originally. So you can see the this one has the the black cord coming up and over. Um, hmm, I guess maybe I went over this bar here and then under that one on this on this particular version, but it doesn't make too much difference. It's just a slightly different look. So last thing to do is trim off the feelers or the antennae. A little bit more correct off the antenna and yeah as I suspect we're gonna wrap this up in 15 minutes so not too bad my fingers give us a little pinch straighten it out and adjust your wings until they look about right and there you go you can see the original is slightly better but uh, it's often the case there you go guys, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, below. Please be kind. And uh, if you do get stuck, I'm happy to help. So just ask anything you want to know. And uh, there you go. Quick uh, tutorial on how to make these bugs for Into Adventure. Go check them out on Instagram. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.